welcome to this special edition of Stay Online on Forbes Middle East. Cloud services are on the rise in the region as businesses increase spending on digital solutions across sectors. Some of the numbers behind this rise and what it actually means for MENA-based businesses. The increased demands on cloud services and business across the Middle East is paving the way for a faster, more efficient digital transformation industry and delivering higher profitability rates. With the growth in cloud market in the Middle East expected to reach 18% in the next five years, this region is already adjusting to the new reality imposed by the fourth industrial revolution. Big tech companies such as Huawei are heavily investing in research and development, particularly in the cloud tools as it has contributed to alleviate some of our globe's most pressing challenges. Global warming, food security, congested cities, and traffic, along many others. These smart solutions have pushed government entities in the Middle East to contribute about 18% of the overall cloud market in the region. Experts say this is the way forward for both private and public sectors looking to improve efficiency, lower cost, and drive innovation. Joining us today, and we welcome Omar Akar, who's the VP and MD of Huawei Cloud in um, Middle East region. Welcome, Omar, to this special edition of uh, Stay Online on Forbes Middle East. We'd love to start with you immediately uh, discussing your insights on this rising demand uh, in cloud services, particularly in businesses across this region. So good afternoon, Jesse, and uh, thank you for your time today. Of course, at the beginning, I'd like to re-emphasize on the fact that we are definitely witnessing the fourth industrial revolution. And we're living in an era whereby the digital economy has become a key cornerstone in every country's economical growth strategy moving forward. In fact, the digital economy today contributes to over 20% of the overall GDP worldwide and is expected to grow significantly in the years to come. And this digital economy is driving change in the technology investment. The study made by Gartner actually shows that uh, organizations have started to invest more in technologies like AI and machine learning, technologies like big data, technologies like 5G, and most importantly, cloud. So cloud will serve as the underlying platform to accelerate the deployment of digital services. And we've seen Many countries in the Middle East are basically promoting the deployment of uh, digital services, and we see that engraved in their strategies and visions uh, moving forward. Now, when it comes to cloud, uh, statistics show that the cloud market, first of all, is growing globally at a CAGR of around 15% for the next five years to come. And when it comes to the Middle East in specific, the cloud market is growing even at a faster rate. So it's expected to grow at a rate of around 18% for the next five years to come. And therefore, from Huawei perspective, being first of all, a digital transformation provider. I mean, as a company today, we invest more than $20 billion annually on digital technologies that I've referred to before, AI and cloud and big data and 5G. We are definitely doubling down our efforts and investment in the Middle East region. So we wanna make sure that we contribute to the adoption of cloud and we accelerate the digital transformation across various industries in the Middle East. Can we dissect that a little bit more and go into details in depth uh, into some of the top sectors that are utilizing um, cloud services and why do you think it has helped them move up if, if, uh, if we can say that? Exactly. So, Jesse, if we look at the cloud adoption in the market, uh, certainly the financial sector and the government, uh, they're, they're basically the fastest in terms of cloud adoption. So, the financial sector contributes to close to 26% of the overall cloud market, followed by the government at around 18%. And there are reasons for that. If you look at the financial sector, the rise of fintechs globally, coupled with the pandemic are primarily the major reasons for, for accelerating cloud adoption. We've witnessed uh, in 2020 close to 105 billion of investment globally on fintechs, out of which probably cloud constitutes around 3%, which is a $300 million of investment on cloud. And uh, on the other hand, 
if you look at uh, uh, an assessment that is done by Forrester Consulting, with the pandemic, more than 82% of the consumer, they prefer the no-touch banking. So they basically want their bank to launch digital services like e-wallet and e-banking services. Uh, and that has definitely accelerated the adoption of cloud. More than 70% of banks and financial institutions have adopted cloud to accelerate their digital transformation. On the other hand, if you look at the government sector, a lot of governments across the Middle East region are promoting cloud. Take UAE as an example. They've launched their strategy for the fourth industrial revolution, and their aim is to become the number one global laboratory that opens its doors to basically test and deploy technologies of the fourth industrial revolution, which will yep. accelerate cloud. Uh, along with the first uh, uh, AI university, the first in the world. Exactly, yep. exactly. And also on the other hand, like if you look at governments like Saudi Arabia, they are uh, basically launching a lot of digital uh, initiatives with, uh, uh, in Saudi and they're basically, this is engraved in their 2030 vision. And at the same time, if you look at Saudi, they are attracting hyperscalers to invest heavily inside Saudi Arabia. So that will, of course, accelerate the adoption of cloud. They even launched digital initiatives that are worth over $1 billion in order to support the talent cultivation programs and in order to elevate the digital skill set of the Saudi youth in the next years to come, which is another evidence of the accelerated adoption of cloud in the government sector across the Middle East. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure there's uh, plenty of other examples as well, but we, we lead with those um, who are um, uh, across or leading right now the race. Uh, let's talk a little bit more about local markets uh, and how you are able to support the growth of local economies through your services. The first thing we've done as Huawei, we've created a secret recipe to integrate all of these technologies together in a reference architecture for digital transformation. So we're expanding our network in the Middle East. We have a very aggressive plan for the one and a half years to come. In fact, the statistic done by Gartner shows that over 54% will be the actual contribution of the SaaS uh, and the cloud market in the Middle East region. And in Huawei, we have more than 4,500 applications launched on our cloud. So one of the things we're doing is we have a dedicated team that is laser focused on onboarding those partners and SaaS providers to invest with us in the Middle East and to launch their applications in the Middle East so that we can contribute to the digital transformation agenda of various industries. And it's also important to note that cloud services are extremely important. So if cloud services are basically the engine in this digital race in the Middle East region, talent also is an important factor. And talent is actually the driver behind the wheel. So we're also working on several programs that will basically contribute to the talent cultivation in the Middle East region, because we see a massive demand on digital talent. Mm. And that's why we're partnering with more than 10 universities and institutes in the Middle East region so that we can basically certify more than 3,000 Huawei cloud experts in the short, probably one and a half years to come. Unfortunately, we're running out of time. It's a, it's a great topic that we can delve into for hours and hours to come, but we'd like to um, uh, thank you. At this point, Omar Akar, VP and MD of Huawei Cloud in the Middle East region. Thank you so much for joining us on this special edition of Stay Online, only on Forbes Middle East. <music>